Hi, I'm Dr. Christopher C and welcome to this audio summary of the major muscles of the back. We're going to cover levator scapulae, the rhomboids, trapezius, latissimus dorsi and serratus anterior. And we'll cover their origin, insertion, nerve supply, blood supply and their simple action. We'll also cover the auscultation triangle boundaries. We'll divide the muscles into three small and then three large muscles. And starting with the smaller ones, we have levator scapulae. From the spinous processes of C1 to C4, it inserts into the upper medial border of the scapula. It's innervated by the dorsal scapular nerve from roots C4 and C5. The blood supply is from the dorsal scapular artery, from the transverse cervical artery. And the action, as the name suggests, is to elevate the scapula. There are two rhomboid muscles rather close together, major and minor. Rhomboid minor lies superior, originating from C7 to T1 spinous processes. Rhomboid major is lower, originating from T2 to T5. They both insert at the medial border of the scapula, below levator scapulae. And like levator scapulae, they're innervated by the dorsal scapular nerve and supplied by the dorsal scapular artery. Moving on to the large muscles, trapezius is the largest and most complex, originating from several landmarks in the midline. These are the base of the skull, the nuchal ligament, which runs from the base of the skull to C7, and the spinous processes from C7 to T12. It inserts into three points, the lateral clavicle, the acromion, and the spine of the scapula. And it's innervated by the accessory nerve, that's cranial nerve 11 for motor, but C4 and C5 for proprioception. Its arterial supply is from the superficial cervical artery and the dorsal scapular artery, but it can receive branches from the occipital artery, a branch of the external carotid. Its action is also complex, with its upper fibres elevating the scapula, the middle fibres retracting it, and the lower fibres depressing it. Latissimus dorsi is another large muscle, and this arises from the spinous processes from T12 to L5, therefore overlapping with trapezius. It also comes from the iliac crest and the inferior three ribs. It inserts on the humerus on the intertubercular sulcus, and it's supplied by the thoracodorsal nerve from roots C6 to C8. The blood supply is from the thoracodorsal artery, a branch of the subscapular artery. Its action is extension, adduction, and medial rotation of the upper limb. The final muscle, seen on the back but originating more laterally, is serratus anterior, which arises from the upper nine ribs and inserts on the medial scapula, but on the costal side. It's innervated by the long thoracic nerve, that's C5, C6, C7, and the arterial supply is by three sub-branches of the axillary artery. These are the lateral thoracic, the superior thoracic, and the thoracodorsal arteries. Its action is to protract the scapula and to fix it to the thoracic wall. Finally, the boundaries of the auscultation triangle. These are the medial border of scapula, the lateral border of trapezius, and the superior border of latissimus dorsi. Although I must say, it's not really used clinically, as auscultation of the entire lung field is obviously rather important. That's all. Thank you, and see you next time.